everyone. Welcome to the monthly reading for September 2023. I posted earlier in the week about the weekly. I'm so sorry there was no weekly reading. This week um, I had technical difficulties um, over the weekend and by time I got everything fixed um, it was all it was Tuesday basically so I didn't find it to be um, it would be helpful to re-record and all that good stuff. So sorry about that. Technical difficulties was not my health, but we are going into a new month. So I definitely want to do the monthly. Okay. And, um, same thing as before guys, same spread. Nothing has changed there. I am using the same four decks. I think it's a different order. I usually try to switch up the order a little bit. So, um, you guys know the drill, please like this video, please share it with anybody that may need guidance, um, clarity, um, any type of assistance uh, from the universe, God, source, energy, whatever you call it. Uh, please send it to them if they need it. And then any comments, questions, or concerns below. And let me know if it resonates. Let me know if it doesn't resonate. All of it's all good. Um, just I ask that you be kind. All right, guys. Let's jump right into it. Enough of my little rant there. Need. Um, okay, we have Prince in the shadow. Okay, we've had Prince before. Uh, using power for self in Grandizman. Am I saying that right? Engrandizement. Oh, that's a big word. That's a really big word. Um, okay, so we've had Prince actually probably, did we have it in the challenge before? Not really sure. Um, but it's really about charm, um, using her charm, um, and uh, being kind of in, uh, uh, is the word six, uh, is it succession I'm thinking about? Is that the right word? Um coming into power like that kind of thing so the fact that it's actually in the shadow just makes me feel like a little bit of this like disempowered type energy kind of coming through i don't love it you guys know i'm all about like helping you guys really tap into that um but it might be kind of shifting um from that obviously we still have the rest of the reading to do but um or not using our power in the right place right and so for me sometimes looking you know when we're using our power from like a egoic place we can be controlling um we could be judgmental um it could just not be used for the you know quote unquote aligned reasons um so basically why this is coming up i believe is um we need to kind of think about how we do use our power okay and we need and since it's under need we really do like it's almost like we are coming into this empowerment and we need to understand and use it in the correct way. Um, that's more, you know, in service of love, not fear and ego. Okay. So that's what I'm kind of getting through that. I hope that makes sense to you guys. And, and it's a little actually unclear for me, but well, that's just the first card there, but I definitely do feel like September already, if there's, you know, I don't want to call the theme on the first card there, but I definitely do feel like we're, trying to figure out our personal power in some type of way that works for us and and using it correctly um you know more intentionally basically so let's pull the next card to see what we what we need because the action needed <clears throat> is more about kind of more so you know piggybacking off of that but um where we really kind of need to take the action so the fates okay so the fates is more like a destiny card destiny i don't really believe in you know in the way of um because we have free will, so we can always kind of change our destiny, but sometimes the path is always the path, right? And so action needed to me just feels like connecting to that and looking at the path. I've been getting like a lot of the daily cards that really focus on intentionality and making sure that we're moving forward, even though we don't feel like, you know, uh, we're in the right place to move forward or we, or we don't, you know, we're waiting for the right time or whatever it actually is, um, or we're stuck in fear, et cetera, et cetera. So I definitely feel like this is asking us to move a little bit more towards our quote unquote destiny um, or our path in general in life. And so this is, you know, either way, it's really kind of about moving, moving forward, okay? Um, moving towards that. So being next to the need, I think for us, so sometimes I find, um, if we're not necessarily connected to purpose and we're not necessarily connected to intention and we're not connected to something that's more meaningful and putting us on the path, we can get really distracted. And yes, that, that power can go in a misplaced way, can, can be misplaced or misused. So it's definitely saying like, okay, 
taking action towards something that is more, again, purposeful, meaningful, intentional, and moving towards your path is definitely what you need here. And that's how you redirect the energy. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys, but let's see what else kind of comes up here. Issue, winter, we've actually had this for the daily recently, take care of your needs. And so it seems like we're still struggling there with uh, for you guys. And so this is really about, when I think of winter, I think of about hibernating. I know it's a wolf, not a bear, but um, it, it's really about, um, you know, for all the people out there that live seasonally, you guys know what winter is. It's, it's basically kind of like staying in a lot, you know, uh, things are a little bit more slowed down, taking care of your basics, like that kind of thing. And so we definitely are going to struggle with that in September. Um, so self-care, I'm very, you know, now that I said that health and wellness, very interested to see what comes up over here, but guys, don't forget to take care of yourselves on the most basic level. That's what spirit is saying, but I do find that we're going to have issues with that. And I'm not necessarily, again, this is the very beginning of the reading. I don't know exactly why I'm not getting anything like super clear. I don't know if it's because we're super busy. I don't know if it's, um, uh, just because we're distracted. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll get clarity as we kind of go on. And of course it'll be different for, for each person um, out there in the collective, but uh, please take care of your needs. It's super important. Surprise, persistence. This is really good. This is really good for this card here, for the action needed, because it looks like some of our persistence and our ambition is kind of coming back um, if it's been gone for a while. So if you guys out there, especially you guys out there that feel like, and I love that it's actually contrasting with the winter because the winter is really about like slow moving energy, taking care of yourself, like that kind of thing. And so it is kind of giving me a clue here already about why that's kind of coming up and why it's going to be an issue because we're really going to feel like motive, more mo momentum and motivation that we haven't felt before um, or at least in a long time. So again, that might be a reason why we're kind of neglecting some of our basics. So, but the persistent, I mean, it's a positive thing to me, but it's surprising us. Like we're not necessarily, we haven't felt ready to kind of get it, things going, but that's really great because like I said, we really need to get things going, getting back on the path, getting more towards the path. So the persistence is a really positive thing. And, and I think it's gonna, I think the motivation and momentum and ambition that you guys maybe have been lacking um, and again, not a bad thing. It's just like where you are in life and where we are in the collective and, you know, crap that's kind of going on. There's some times in life where you need to slow down and sometimes you need to ramp up and it looks like we're starting to ramp up. We're starting to kind of get there. Um, and again, it's not bad or good. It just is. So let's see more of a challenge because we already hit issue. So we have God, but we have it in the light, benevolence and compassion, recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others. Amazing. So it's like your own inner, um, guys, I, I was just talking to somebody actually last week. Was it, was it last weekend? Was it last weekend? Yeah, it was last weekend about the word God. I use it very fluently these days. I have had a lot of religious trauma in my life. Um, and I know a lot of you guys out there probably have as well. So I interchange my beliefs and how I do these readings and how, you know, and probably you've already picked that up if you've been watching these, is I interchange God with the divine, universe, source energy, creator. To me, it's all the same. Some people think God created universe and they see it as two separate things. I do not, I, I do not. And so for me, I don't necessarily always think that um, the, the messenger is important. I think the message is the most important. So don't hyper focus on that either way, whether what, you know, whatever you believe. But this is pretty much saying this should just like, so interchange is, is what I'm saying with the word universe, if you want. If it's a little bit more on the spiritual side, less religious, if it works better for you, if it's less triggering. And so the truth is, whatever this is, this divine energy, it's within us and we have the universe within us. It's not just outside of us, right? It's within us. It's how we get our power. So going back to this feeling that I'm getting about really cultivating what power means to us and how we're going to manifest it and how we're going to use it this month. So it makes sense that we're not sure. The challenge is how do we use this power that we have that, that comes from within, right? Um, that, you know, God, universe loves us. Um, that 
uh, we are worthy just for being us, like these very, very deep things that fuel our power. I always say this to people all the time, like I don't understand how we get confidence, resiliency, you know, um, all of these things from without bringing God, universe, source energy into the picture, okay? So that's, you know, I'm biased because I'm a very spiritual person and that's where the foundation comes from and that's what I teach from, okay? That's where you get your power from, guys. Um, and so it's a challenge for us. We're trying to kind of figure that out or cultivate that or connect to that. So to me, even though it's in the light and it's gonna be a positive thing and we're cultivating that, I think also part of that is, um, I, I don't know if you guys have heard of this word atonement. Atonement means the, uh, the separation from God's source energy, creator, the divine, whatever you wanna call it, okay? And so that could be mending this month, okay? Or be challenging. So I definitely feel like our connection to something bigger than us, you know, again, all those words put, you know, insert word here that makes you feel better or um, aligns with you, resonates with you, that kind of thing. Um, so I think it's reconnecting to that, but I do feel because it's under the challenge, it will be challenging in some type of way. So this connecting to, to the source energy, and this idea of cultivating our power within that source energy is going to be something kind of challenging, but obviously very needed for what we need to do this month. And, and again, um, we're actually in the last quarter here. So um, sometimes it ramps up when we hit like a new quarter, the energy. Um, but I think as a collective, a lot of us are, are, are really just, again, trying to find that power within. So I think you guys get it. I think maybe I, I tend to over explain, but I just want to make sure you guys kind of understand the energy and the energy can be hard to interpret. So uh, focus, to be fair, this is great. Um, this is focusing on having more of a balance, which is great because we're getting these kind of cards that are getting stuff done, getting ready to get stuff done, but also cultivating our power, uh, taking care of our needs. Um, so there's like a good mix up here of like masculine, feminine, and masculine, feminine, which are energies, guys, not gender. Um, and uh, we're, we're, we're balancing that out, right? So I don't think the momentum or the motivation is going to be like the whole theme for the month, but it's starting to kind of get to a place where it is balancing itself out. So the, yeah, the focus is focusing on making sure that your life is a little bit more balanced and Again, with quarterly type readings, um, month, you know, months, um, you know, we're getting set up for like the next few months or so. Um, it's good to kind of check in and ask yourselves, like, are we balanced? You know, what um, what needs more attention? What needs more? God, I can't think of another word besides balance, but what needs more balance, basically? Reflect, dream, and journey. So this is about visualizing which is great. I love that it comes underneath the fates because this is really about looking forward and getting on the path. This is thinking about the path, reflecting on what you want. So this is, again, another card that kind of has an undertone of intentionality. So we're really reflecting and thinking about what journey we want to go on, where we want to go going forward, okay? So this is about um, the path forward, which is amazing because that's the action that we need to take. Um, so not surprised there. Responsibilities, you can do it. Oh my God, I kind of want to cry with this card. I know it's like a simple one. I have an affinity for Archangel Michael and the angels, as you guys know. I haven't used um, the angel deck. I've been, these are, and this is actually an, uh, Ascended Masters, but he's considered one um, because he has transcended a lot. Um, you can do it. <laughs> Guys, what gives you more power than knowing that you can do anything in this world, that you have the power to transcend any crappy, horrible, terrible thing that this human world throws at you, okay? Throws at you. So your only responsibility this week is to know that you can get through it, okay? What gives you more power than that, okay? Um, all the things I mentioned up here with cultivating our power, worthiness, confidence, safety, okay? Because Archangel Michael is also linked to safety. Um, help, he's there for you for, to, to help you cultivate safety. Like all of these things 
are the things you need to kind of get through these really horrible things that happen to us in our lives. And I know you guys, you guys as the collective, I have felt it. I am in that camp as well. The last few years have been pretty horrible for a lot of us, right? And life is human suffering. Um, you know, you're not getting out of this without experiencing this. And so how we get through it is, is, is so, so important. So this month, it's really about cultivating that, guys. You can do it. You can push through, okay? And so that's really what this is about, is cultivating that energy to push through. Guys, this isn't about toxic positivity, okay? Feel your feelings. Feel all the horrible things. Um, but it's, it's really about shifting into more of a powerful type feeling, um, powerful mentality and like I said I already felt from the first card that there's this power stuff kind of coming up so I'm loving it because we obviously need to you know shift from guys I kind I kind I'm, I'm like I'm like a spiritual god that really doesn't love the term victim mentality I don't love it but it is a mentality okay it's I'm not talking about actual victims in the world which there are um, and it's okay, you know, people get victimized all the time, unfortunately. Um, but it is kind of like that shifting from that victim mentality to, you know, a more powerful one. It's saying that I can do this, I can get through this. And so it almost feels like the second quarter, you know, uh, not the second quarter, we're in the last quarter, oh my God, of the year, you know, that we're kind of pushing through it if it's been, you know, especially a very, very tough year for some of you guys. So. You can do it. Oh God, I love it so much. You absolutely can do it. I have no doubts. I have no doubts that you can do it. Money, finances, and career. I put them all in the same category. Let me read this. Highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring to your life. Okay, so saboteur can look, can, sometimes has the bad connotation of uh, you're sabotaging, um, but because it's the opposite, um, you know, and it's in the light, it's like you're not sabotaging. So that's great. So basically, um, to me, the word worthiness actually comes up with this. So again, connecting to our higher power up there definitely helps in that area. So this to me feels like um, we're no longer kind of like sabotaging ourselves. Like we're doing things that are more loving because we feel more worthy. And so that's just gonna naturally organically manifest itself in our financial life and our career life. So I wouldn't be surprised if um, that newfound energy of worthiness really kind of um, accelerates our work life in some type of way. Our, you know, if you have your own business, I know some people do, um, or finances, like you are worthy. Okay. So there's definitely something about worthiness here. And even if it doesn't, like, it almost just feels like just not sabotaging yourself is like good enough. Meaning like, um, you know, even if it, you don't come into, you know, you don't see the prosperity of money or, or whatever, it's like, you, at least you don't see the, the lack of it, if that makes sense. Like almost neutral in a way, but it's like you've stopped sabotaging. It's basically what Spirit is trying to say. Um, change, here and now. Okay, so this is about being present. So this is about, um, I think it's so interesting. There's also like a red flag there because, so I think the change here, it's not actually coming into present. It's, it's more about going from present to future. That's what I feel because it's almost like the red, when things jump out to me in the cards, guys, I take it as an intuitive hit for, for myself. That's how I read. And so to me, it's kind of like saying like being the present is kind of a red flag because we're not thinking about our future enough. And like I said, the fates, dreaming and journey, looking ahead. I'm definitely getting hints here from some of these cards that we need to start kind of planning ahead a little bit, looking at our future. So, and it's, everything has a shadow and everything has a light, but being present is usually really great. For me, dealing with a health issue, I have to take day, day by day by day by day. But to me, this is kind of saying like, maybe next month I could start planning things, you know, I'm getting a little bit better. I can actually start planning things and committing to things because my health is getting better. So that's how I see it for me. But it, you know, you see how it's not bad being present. It's just like what I've had to deal with, um, but it's, it's changing. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So yeah, it's definitely a little bit more future focused and there's definitely a little bit more planning um, going on here. 
um, or we're being called to do a little bit more planning, okay? So friends, be devoted and committed. Okay, so this is about commitment to friends. This is about um, being true to your word. Be careful of what you, I'm definitely getting this intuitively, be careful of what you commit to this month to friends. Um, be careful, make sure that you, like word is bond is basically, is kind of the phrase that's like kind of coming up here. So just, you know, I have a feeling people are going to, your, you know, close friends are gonna be asking for a certain commitment from you um, this month. And so uh, I definitely see a lot of you guys um, recommitting to friendships, like maybe, maybe you're bringing on the commitment saying like, oh my gosh, I'm definitely going to spend more time with you guys. Um, you know, I'm looking at the future and I, I, you know, I'm looking ahead and I definitely want you guys a part of my life, et cetera, et cetera. Like that. So I see it's like nothing is like good, nothing but good, not nothing good, <laughs> nothing but good things here um, with just kind of recommitting to your friendships and, and there's commitments around the friendships, okay? But in a positive way. Uh, romantic connection. I also feel like this is good. Um, listen, uh, feel like this is positive. Listen. So this is about being uh, a good listener and your partner being receptive and listening. And so uh, there's not too much to say about this. this is an ascended master's card. So it's pretty straightforward. So good listening skills, both ways in receiving and giving, which is great because we really have this balance energy. So it feels like we're coming through with balance for our relationships as well. For all my single people out there, I think you're going to meet a lot of people that are great listeners and it wouldn't kill you, you know, to um, practice being an active listener yourself when you aren't meeting new people. Okay. Um, importance. Add it. Okay. So this is actually in the light. Helps you recognize and confront addictive behavior. Okay. So, I mean, this is actually pretty straightforward. Um, I don't care who you are. Um, this this is why it gets it grinds my gears sometimes when people look down at people that have a, like actual very 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 serious addictions i don't care who you are it could happen to anybody i don't care what kind of personality you have because people do have more genetic predispositions to more addictive behavior and things like that um i don't care who you are it could happen to anybody and so that's why we really need to have empathy and compassion okay and so this to me is saying like, look at your own addictions, okay? And it's, I see it, it's in the light, so it doesn't um, seem too dire, but um, it, it is saying like, um, kind of be mindful, you know, that you don't go in a direction where your, your addictions can play a part this month, maybe tempt you or go a little overboard. Like, like, um, Basically, it's saying just don't go overboard. Just be mindful of that. Be, it's important that you're just mindful of that um, for whatever reason. And this actually hasn't come up in a while. And so, um, you know, good on everybody for like, you know, we have the balance here. We have the balance here. Um, we're balanced, but this is under important and it's coming through under important for a reason. So just make sure we're not tipping either way. But it's in the positive. So it's in the light. So. Um, I see it as like a good thing, but just, just be careful. That's all spirit is saying, right? All right, health and wellness, um, orphaned. Okay, so uh, makes sense. Like I said, I was very curious with the issue up there about taking care of our needs. We have the orphan card. This is about loneliness. This is about not feeling connected. This is about not feeling um, loved, um, that kind of thing. So um, please take care of your needs. Okay, that's you know, like I said earlier about the issue, that's pretty straightforward. Please take care of your needs. Um, makes sense to mental health stuff connected to worthiness stuff. Okay. Spiritual health, mental health, they're kind of intermixed there. Emotional health, it's all kind of connected. Physical health, all that stuff. Okay. It's all holistic. It's all connected. So um, please take care of yourselves. Guys, I don't think I could take it, you know, say it anymore. If you're lonely, reach out to a friend. If you're, you know, the spiritual reason why we're lonely is because we're not connected. How many times do I have to point to this here? The challenge is connecting, you know, is to atone for the separation of something bigger than us and, and, and us. Meaning that we're not alone, guys. I'm telling you right now. You're not alone, okay? Um... But but I understand we're humans, we need other people, that kind of thing. But 
this is, uh, you know, coming from the soul level as well. So just throwing that out there. Okay. So I definitely do feel like connecting to that, um, dealing with that, making sure you're okay there. Okay. Um, overall outcome guys. I, I mean, before I even pull this card, this is like looking good. I'm again, from that first card up there, I knew this mom had something to do with cultivating our power, recultivating it. Ah, I love this. I got this in a private reading last night. Uh, Medicine Guardian, be open to healing information. I love it. Overall outcome for me, this actually, not just healing that pops out to me, this is about being open, okay? So we're open to healing information. We're open to um, a new life. We're open to um, other people's opinions. We're open to new ways of doing things, okay? And so I feel that as a really big positive. Um, so, and also healing, I mean, totally lots of green here i see lots of green here and lots of green here okay and also here with the saboteur kind of an ugly green here <laughs> but it's still green still counts and 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 green is healing information it's linked to the heart chakra as well so um i just see a lot of healing happening for us guys and usually that's what what it's about right if you think about the healing journey there's so much i can say about it it's it's about coming out of it with your power basically right? You go into it being basically victimized, right? Um, and then you come out of it an empowered person that has learned many lessons, right? You come out the warrior. Let's be honest. That's really what it is. And so um, I'm not shocked that, that this has come out, but um, we're more open, we're more flexible, we're more balanced, we're, you know, uh, our, we're healing basically we're better we're better human beings we're better souls so i just see this as like a really like healing wonderful month of again cultivating our power and looking more ahead being able to feel safe enough to look ahead but guys please winter orphaned please 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 take care of your 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 mental spiritual emotional health um always your physical obviously all of it right um it's all holistic and then um I'm glad to see like our close relationships are, you know, our relationships in general look really great for this month. So um, I love it, guys. What a great reading. I hope you guys have a wonderful month. Please put down below um, any questions, comments, or concerns, or if it resonates or not. Have a wonderful month, guys. I'll see you next one. Uh, I'll see you for the next weekly and the next month.